Thanks for having me on, Val. They're always a pleasure being on with you. Well, you're such a globetrotter. I can't keep up with you. I'm always watching you. Now I'm watching you stream live on TV Talk. They need nice. to make a show, Where is Mario? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we do have an interactive talk show coming out in September, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Tell me what's going on at the biggest show on the planet, Mario. I yes. know you're in heaven. It is the biggest show on the planet. It is the World Cup, the Super Bowl of technology conferences. 37 football fields full of exhibit hall space, all being covered by some of the biggest and smallest names in technology. This is the show where they announce to the media and give us a first look at some of the things that are going to be coming out in the next couple of months and over the course of the year, certainly before the holiday season hits. And so there are a lot of different trends here. Things like virtual reality is big. A lot of stuff around drones is happening here. Robots and auto, uh, artificial intelligence. I found five cool trends that I'm also seeing that are impacting uh, our lives. The first one is in vehicles. Ford has really made some big announcements this year at the CES show with their in-vehicle entertainment and communication system. It's known as Sync 3, and it really is bridging the gap between car and dashboard and your phone, giving you more access and more connectivity through your device to your dashboard. So they've also announced Apple CarPlay, which is really big. You'll be able to use your voice now to access Siri. That means you'll be able to get access to your maps, your uh, music, your contacts, and more. And for Android owners, you'll be able to use something called Android Auto, and that will show up right on the dashboard, and you'll be able to use your voice to get to Google Now, to Maps, Music, and more. Plus, they've also announced steering wheel controls for Sync 3, which is really great, too. And then Intel is big here, Valder BB. I went by the Intel booth because you can't not go by the Intel booth. They are the chipset that's processing all the stuff behind the scenes. And they are reinventing the sports industry for everybody. So any sports enthusiasts watching or listening, listen to this. They are now putting their Intel powerful processors inside of wearable sensors, inside of headsets, and inside of other sports equipment and devices. For example, on set with me here, I have the Recon Snow 2 goggles. These goggles have the Intel chips embedded in it as well as in the sensor. And inside, <clears throat> you can actually see a small screen which will actually show you what your trail map looks like when you're going downhill. It'll also show you your speed. All types of your athletic performance can now be seen in real time as you're doing it. So this is for skiers, but it's also going to be for bikers, runners, and more. Another cool trend is in the home, home audio. I'm tired of so many people buying big screen TVs and not making a good investment on the sound system to go along with that. So LG's made some new announcements that'll make people happy. It's the LG Music Flow <clears throat> SH7 soundbar. This connects over Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even the new Google Cast, which is gonna give you a lot of access to a lot of streaming services from your mobile devices and PCs. Three different soundbar sizes, four different speaker sizes, something to customize that will fit in your space or budget. And they have an app now. And the app enables you, Outfounder BB, to be able to say, you know what, in the kids' room, I'm going to let them listen to Taylor Swift, but in the kitchen, I want to listen to jazz music. And you'll be able to independently control the different speakers with that different music from the app, which is cool. And then two last things, uh, the big trend in mobile, one is taking pictures and shooting those memories, but capturing them right away as soon as you can. This is called the Now Cam by Zag. Now Cam is a compact action camera that fits right in your pocket. You can quickly and easily shoot video, video bursts, or still images, up to 1,600 still images on this, by the way. And then you can use the Now Cam app to get access to your videos and images from that, and it even has a built-in speaker. Really, really great device. You just pull it out, take the picture, shoot the video, and put it back in your pocket. And then I went by the LifeProof booth because we're all carrying smartphones. They announced the first ever waterproof battery case for the plus-sized iPhone. It's called Free Power for the iPhone 6S Plus. Gives you four proof protection against water, snow, dirt, and those mad, uh, drops. If you drop it from six feet or higher, it'll still work. And it also doubles as a battery case, doubling your battery life as well. So really great products that are really going to be in our homes over the next couple of months that are going to enhance our lives through technology. 
too exciting, Mario. There's never been a better time in uh, technology life to be alive. I am so excited That's about true. all the things that are going there on CES. But you didn't talk about drones, so you'll have to come back because I know there's okay. some drones in the cars yes, out there. Yes, there are some drones out here for sure. And I'm also streaming on Facebook, so you can catch some of my updates. I'll be streaming live video on my Facebook page and on Twitter. So, yes, you're right. I'll have to come back and talk about some of the stuff happening with drones for sure. It's been my day to talk to the best tech guy on the planet, Mario Armstrong. Mario, thank you so much. And what's that website again? Uh, KillerApps.tv is the website. And then my Facebook fan page, just go to Facebook and search on Mario Armstrong and click on the official fan page and follow me there. And I can't wait for the talk show. Thanks, Mario. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate that.